So the other day, something interesting happened. I posted something on social media that got quite a bit of reaction. I said, quote, it's amazing how fast we went from my body, my choice to your body, Biden's choice. And of course, the reaction was swift. People were angry. Some people loved it. People on one side understood what I was trying to say. On the other, they thought it was evil. I, I got called all sorts of names and titles and all of that because people didn't like what I was saying. And before I even get into that, I want to address the fact that I believe in the vaccine. I am vaccinated. I think the vaccine has helped millions of people avoid hospitalization and serious issues. Now, having said that, I also understand that there are people who have questions about the vaccine, that there are people who are uncomfortable and they want those questions answered. And I think that it's reasonable to have questions. I understand that. I understand the reluctance to the vaccine. And Again, I think not only should we be understanding toward that, I think the people who are who have been anti this vaccine, that they should avoid conspiracy theories, that they should do their diligence to understand the issue. I guess my main point is, I think that we can come together to address this like adults. Now, I want to get back to the my body, my choice thing, because for years, there have been people who have been saying my body, my choice when it comes to abortion. And suddenly when it comes to vaccine mandates, it's as though that never existed. You have to do it. We say you need to do it. And that's it. We're going to shame you. We're going to blame you. We're going to go after you. We're going to threaten you and make you feel horrible about yourself, which by the way, I don't understand why anybody thinks that's an effective mechanism of getting people to change their mind. I, I don't think it is at all. But when I, when I wrote what I wrote about my body, my choice, I got some of the strangest reactions from people. They were like, how dare you compare getting an abortion to asking someone to get a vaccine as though it was no big deal, as though abortion isn't one of the most traumatic and horrific things ever for an unborn baby and also for all members involved in this particular procedure. It was crazy to me and borderline reprehensible, actually I would say morally reprehensible in itself, that we would excuse that, we would act as though it's completely sane to just have an abortion and that we can willy-nilly do that, murdering an unborn baby, and that it's just evil to have any sort of question when you say, well look, like I don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with the vaccine, maybe I don't want to be forcibly injected with the vaccine. It's as though that was the crazy position and the abortion position was the okay one. And it just blew my mind. I mean, there's so much we don't know. Again, I think people should get vaccinated. If you can medically do it, I think you should. But if you're a woman, I mean, let's look at women's health. Right now, the National Institutes of Health, they have given almost $1.7 million to study the potential effect of the vaccine on menstrual changes. Now, this isn't a life-threatening thing, but there are women who have reported having these issues and they're looking into it. There's not enough science to follow, so they're trying to collect that science. Should those women who want to get pregnant, should they be forced to get the vaccine or should they be able to make a decision for their own body and their own family about whether or not they want to hold off on the vaccine so that they can properly plan their pregnancy? I mean, I think the answer is pretty clear. At the end of the day, we need to realize everybody has their own reason for getting the vaccine or not getting it. We should encourage people to understand it and hopefully to get it, but we shouldn't be shaming and blaming and tearing people down. It's not who we are and I don't think we should be mandating. I, I, this is not something that I believe is helpful and I'm hoping we can come together so we can move through this pandemic in a positive and a constructive way.